And our top focus we're on right now is the continuous coverage of the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. In the latest, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in his visit to Israel pressed for a ceasefire deal saying that the time is now. However, Hamas is indicating towards the rejection of the hostage deal proposal. The militant group, however, says that talks will continue. Lebanese media, Al Manar TV, quoted a Hamas official underlining that their position on the current negotiations is in negative. Hamas's press office subsequently clarified that the negative position does not mean that negotiations have stopped. Hamas is reportedly slated to submit an amended response to the latest proposal. Now, Blinken said that Israel has made very important compromises in ceasefire efforts and it is now up to Hamas to get the deal done. This is something that the whole world is watching. And if Hamas uh, actually um, purports to care about the Palestinian people uh, and wants to see uh, uh, an immediate alleviation of their suffering, it will... Um, it will take the deal. Uh, if it doesn't, I think that's further proof that uh, it doesn't care a bit uh, about the Palestinian people. On route a visit to Karim Shalom, one of the main crossing points for aid into Gaza, Blinken made a brief stop at Kibbutz near Oz in southern Israel. It is one of the sites of the October 7th Hamas attack. At the Karim Shalom crossing, Blinken discussed as to how to expand humanitarian aid to Gaza with Israel's Defense Minister, Yoav Gallant. Now, Israel reopened the Ares crossing to allow aid to flow into the hard-hit northern Gaza Strip. Blinken met Netanyahu in Jerusalem for over two hours, after which Israel repeated that the Rafa operation would go ahead despite the U.S. position and also a U.N. warning that it would lead to tragedy. Blinken said that he had still not seen a plan for Israel's promised offensive on Rafa that would protect civilians, repeating that Washington cannot support such an assault. On the other hand, Israel's military chief of staff said that the offensive operation in Gaza will continue with strength and that Israel was preparing for an offensive in the north. Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, too asserted Israel's intentions of the Rafa offensive. We are determined to take any action in order to return our hostages back to their home. These are the right values. It is morally right and it is a declared war objective. At the same time, the IDF subject to the instructions I gave to the general staff and the chief of staff is preparing to carry out any operational mission in the Rafa area. In the U.S., President Joe Biden's administration is facing renewed pressure from his fellow Democrats to influence Israel not to launch a full-scale invasion of Rafah. 57 of the 212 Democrats in the House of Representatives signed a letter calling on the administration to take every possible measure to dissuade Netanyahu's government from an all-out assault on the city. Meanwhile, Palestinians in South Gaza express cautious optimism on the potential ceasefire deal. Displaced people in the city of Rafah say that they want an end to the suffering and hardship caused by the ongoing Israeli offensive in the region. <laughs>